Hey, welcome to the Building Great Song Song Contest reveal of the three winners. And let me tell you something, this has not been easy. I mean, there's, there's some really cool songs in here that are, you know, are in different genres that are, you know, everybody has different criteria. And it's just, it's been kind of crazy. I, I reached out to some of my friends that some of them are Grammy winners, nominated, some of them are in the Hall of Fame. And I sent the last few songs out and and got basically kind of the same answers that I thought. So I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. First I'm gonna I'm gonna go through the the third and then the second and then the first I'm gonna do a little something special. So anyway, let's get right into it. Okay, so the in third place of the Building Great Songs song contest is going to be a song called You've got Great. Takes, and you're gonna be great. Now, There's Great is so the first time I heard this song, I was like, this is a movie soundtrack. Great. It's got a really cool message. It's such a feel-good message in this song. And it's very pop. And I can hear this song actually being in a movie or uh, or having a couple of placements like that. So that's one of the, the criteria that, you know, I, it has to be authentic, believable, complete and recordable in whatever genre it was written in. Or, and it, you know, it has to, has to be able to, in my eyes, make a placement somewhere. And I truly think this one could make a placement in film, definitely. Just because of, you know, uh, and the melody, the melody really soars and the dynamics are really cool in it. So that's third place and that is great written by Shara Matlock. Congratulations and we will be getting in touch with you and we'll, we'll, we'll get that hour mentoring session set up. On to the next one. Okay, the next one I don't know if it's going to be controversial, but I will say this. It's in its genre. It's a cool, it's so fun. It's such a fun song and just such a, oh my gosh. It's almost like I can, it's a bluegrass song. And it's do what you gotta do. Let me check this out here. Do what you gotta do by Russ Stallions. No, it's probably Russ Stallions. Sorry, I messed that up. Russ Stallions. And this thing is so fun. I laughed when it got to the hook. You know. It, it's just a classic bluegrass tune that I could hear a bunch of people do. And that's the thing is, you know, do these songs feel complete? Do they, you know, is it, is it a song you can hear in that genre? I can hear this on bluegrass radio. I, there's, there's no doubt in my mind if I turn on Blue Grass Radio, I can hear this. And the demo, the demo is amazing to the song. I don't know who who he had to do the demo, but they were some players. And it really came through and it really made the song pop. And, you know, and it, like I said, it's just a fun little tune. So anyway, so that is do what you gotta do. That is second place. And they 
get, Russ gets a uh, three hour mentoring session with me and he also gets the course, Building Great Songs. So, man, great job on this one. Very fun, very cool. I, I was bobbing my head and tapping my foot. It did what it was supposed to do. Okay, so the last song, I you know what? I'm going to wait. Because I did something special on the last song. And I'm going to play this video first. And it's just a, a really cool thing. I'm going to play this video. And then I'm going to play the song after the video. And by the way, you guys, if you're watching this, go to buildinggreatsongs.com forward slash course. And check out my course. I truly think it could help you write better songs from now on. And it can help the songs you've already written. So, anyway, without any more beating around the bush, I'm going to go to a video and, and then play the song. I'll see you on the other side of it. Hey. How, are you? How are you doing? Good to see you. Oh my goodness. Oh. There you are. <laughs> I look like the ugliest Princess Leia in the world. <laughs> Man, that is some purple going on. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me put this on. Let's see. I'm sorry. I have to. I got to figure this stuff out here with you. We can get right on. There we go. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Um, man, thank you so much. I'm, I'm like I said in the email, I'm, I'm honored that you. Oh man, <laughs> you. Uh, so tell me about yourself. Tell me uh, where you know. Are you are you in Nashville? I am. Yes. See, I didn't I even know you. that. I met you when I first was getting started at Horse and Rider, Skip Ewing, wow. many moons ago. I think it was like 13 years ago. That's and, been a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I met you, and it was you and Deanna Bryant and Clay Mills and Skip Ewing. Yeah. It was the first Horse and Rider Invitational they did. And I was like, man, I was so green. Oh, <laughs> and like, what am I doing here? This is crazy. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I met you then, and I had just at that time, um, I'm born and raised in Nashville, you know, wow. writing songs since I was a teenager, but really always wanted to be a songwriter. That was uh, just my love is writing. And so I did the artist thing forever. And when I met you at that time, I had just come out of a demo deal with a major label that didn't work out. And I was kind of in a state of kind of sadness, but then I was really happy to, to be, have a song that I co-wrote with somebody um, that got Skip's and y'all's attention to get me in that environment to be around hit writers and other people that were writers too. And that was, that was like the first time I really felt like okay, then I, I can do this writing thing. And, and so, but, but then again, when I got back from that, I um, got in a duo and again, just, just hustled the artistry, just tried to be um, an artist for, I guess that duo that I had was the Darlings. We actually played around like at festivals and stuff. And uh, I think we saw you a few times at Smoky Mountain Songwriters Festival. And Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and so, I'm um, from that area. I'm from East Tennessee. I, I was born and yeah. raised in, in uh, Newport and White Pine. My first gigs I ever did was with uh, was in Gatlinburg. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's so cool. One, the first gig I ever had, I was in college at Belmont, and I we played the um, we played in Newport, and it was a uh, sound in the Smoky, some kind of Smoky festival, and it was. <laughs> It was um, Confederate Railroad. It could be anything in Newport. <laughs> and then we played in Bristol. So I, I love that. I love that you're from Tennessee, too. That's too cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, this is where I actually come clean. 
You did not make the 10 top songs. You actually won. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and let that out there. Because it's oh not going to be on anymore. Oh my gosh. Oh, so, wow. Thank you so I, much. I, I can't just, believe it. Like, I just, I just entered it because I just was like, I just love you. And I, I follow you on Facebook. And I'm like, I just want to get on his radar. And I saw that you had the, the your, your, um, your building songs and, and the song building. And I was like, I got to be a part of that. I got to figure it out. I'm, hey, I'm honored. It, you wrote this by yourself, right? I did, yeah, and it, you know, and I oh. have other songs I've written, and, and I, I could have put other ones in, but I felt like that one was just the truth. It's where I'm at as a writer, and it's like this mountain of a dream that I have that feels impossible, and I, I just felt like, yeah. well, at least when you hear that, you're going to hear the absolute me, you know, right there. Well, let me tell you, uh, you know, that's the thing is, is, and I went and played, you know, I, all of these songs, the ones that were in the top, five or six i sent to all of my friends that just happened to be grammy winning you know um hall of fame songwriters and i sent it to five people and i got five hey there mountain number one. Oh my gosh every one of them said it. So and I, I was saying it, but I was like, I just want to make sure, you know, I, I you know, I like what I like and, and I sent it out and every one of them said the same thing. Oh and my gosh. So, wow. <laughs> well, it's, it, it, the song is so great. And, and the thing about it is, is, is when I first listened to it, I was like, it's so believable and authentic, like, and that's huge for me. And um, and that you, I love the way, I love the the rules you broke. Yeah, <laughs> I really did. I I love because at first I I was like, wait a minute, you know, why why did she say that at the end? It's not really, but I listened to it a second time, and that's actually what I loved about it. Wow. And um, and just the the way you is that you singing as yeah. well? Yeah, I'm playing just the guitar vocal. Yeah, and that for me that just hammers home what I always say that a guitar if it's a great song, a guitar vocal that's all you need because anything else will get in the way. And, and lead you down another path. But this song is just you and a guitar and you killed it. Oh, my, I'm speechless. Like, thank you. I, oh. I, I really am. And I, one thing about that song is I wrote it when I did on a day when I was so low, like so sad about just not, it's like not, I feel like I'm stuck and I've felt this way for a long time in music. And, and when I wrote that one, it just, kind of came out like a poem and I just it was just the truth like what I would be saying like if you, if I had a mountain outside of Nashville we don't but wow. in some places like I did live in Las Vegas for a minute and uh, <laughs> there are mountains and so you you walk outside and there's the mountain there it is and then you go inside you can close the blinds but it's still there and that's right. like how I felt about how what I want to do it feels impossible well, and also in the song, you you talk about you know at the end of you you know, it's it's basically like, you know, I'll see you tomorrow or you know it's, it's like, and I love that idea and and it's just you know it it's it's one of those things that that lets you know that it's it's an ongoing thing it, you know. You, yeah, you know, songs is not something that is okay. I know how to write now, and that's no, it. Mm -mm, and no way. and the creativity is a liquid, and it, you never know which way it's gonna flow. That's right. So, I just you know, I just really, from the first time I heard that song, literally, and and and, and there's some cool songs that that I I listen to on this thing, but that one really hit the authentic. 
bone in me. And, and I, I preach this all the time with songwriters. Being authentic, that you, it's good to have rules and it's good to have structure, but none of that matters if I don't believe what I'm being told in the song. Right. And great songs are their conversations with people that that they make them forget that it's a song and it becomes a conversation and this definitely did that and and i, I really look forward to working with you i cannot wait uh, this is the best news i've gotten in a really long time ever so i'm really i i'm so blown away and i appreciate it thank you so much thank you so much <laughs> oh, you know, and that's the thing is, you know, it, it's, we forget sometimes that you do. And, and the fact that you wrote it by yourself too. And, and I, I do that sometimes I, you have to write songs for yourself. And when I heard this, I thought, man, you know, and you do an amazing job on it yourself. But I was like, I automatically went to people. I was thinking, I was like, oh my God, Allison Krauss yeah. <laughs> would kill this song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. And anyway, so I, I won't take up a lot of your time, but I, I just wanted to, to uh, get in touch with you and tell you that's a great job and congratulations oh. on winning Building Great Songs, a song contest. Oh. I really do look forward to working with you. And you know what? We can just, if you wanted to, we can just, we don't have to do it over Zoom. We can just do it in person. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I would love that. I can't wait, Chris. Thank you. Yeah. Set it up. And, yeah. uh, and, and it'll be, it'll be awesome. I look forward to it. Me too. Keep on, keep on writing. And because let me tell you, I, you know, I I don't know if you were like me, but when I was I I mean I could sing a little bit, and I always tell people I sing like a prisoner behind bars and looking for a key. <laughs> but uh, so when I um, when I first started, I have a lot of friends that ended up being huge stars, but I never wanted. I always wanted to write songs, you know. I, I always wanted that. Yeah. That thing and and I always wanted to be um, just believable in my songs and and I I recognize that so I, I Same here. Yeah, mm -hmm. congratulations and I won't take up any more of your time but I'll be in touch with you okay. to set all this up and uh, you also get a um, building great songs. Uh, course as well awesome. which i'll be sending you probably today okay i haven't told anybody else <laughs> so so don't tell anybody online oh, i am so give me a couple of days <laughs> thank you oh, a couple of days yeah. well, we'll talk to you later sounds great thank you chris you're welcome we'll see you soon all right bye <laughs> Hey there, mountain, see you out on the horizon, calling to me like we're old friends, saying don't be a stranger. Hey there, mountain, wouldn't blame you one bit for judging, trying to take you on is doubling down on a devil's wager. We ain't so different. Both independent Hearts can be stone But when it rains, Lord knows We're the first to feel it We've come down from some heights And been through the landslides But we're still standing When it's said and done oh, We're stubborn souls Hey there, mountain not like I could ever miss you Getting out of town or rolling back in You're there to remind You're a mountain Everything I wish I'd conquer Summits I haven't reached just yet 
But man, just give me time We ain't so different Both independent Hearts can be stone But when it rains, Lord knows We're the first to feel it We've come down from some heights And been through landslides Some will try to move us But they won't We're stubborn souls Lucky for me You ain't getting any stronger Day by day Oh, but I am Oh, I am Hey there, mountain You're fading in my rearview mirror But I'll see you again tomorrow morning About sunrise, old friend So that was Hey There Mountain by Aaron Bates. Like I said, like I told her, I love the rules she broke in the song. And you can feel every word. The way she wrote this song was so authentic and believable. And because she broke some of the rules, you know, putting... You know, the stubborn, first, when I first heard the song, I was like, what did she do there at the end of it when she said, we're stubborn souls? And there's a couple more things. What the, you know, I think she ends it with old friend. It's just, but the first time I heard it, I thought, ah, do I like that? And then I played it again, and that was my favorite part. So... Know the rules so you can break them really well, like this song. I truly love this song, and like I said before, I can hear Alice Krauss, Allison, Allison Krauss, just kill this song. As soon as she started playing and got to the chorus, I was like, man. So I automatically went to an artist that I thought could possibly sing this song and record it. So congratulations, Aaron Bates, on Hey There Mountain. And we'll be getting together and writing soon, and you also get a copy of Building Great Songs, Access to the Course. And all you guys, thank you so much for participating in this contest. It's been a lot of work. It's just me, you know. I don't have a team. I don't have a crew. I am the crew. So thank you so much for participating. And as always, may your next song be your best song. And I'm Chris Wallen with Building Great Songs. And go to buildinggreatsongs.com forward slash course and check out my course. I think it'll help you. See you on the next one. Bye.